Okay, everybody, welcome to book to go I was asked to come in and answer a few questions. Apparently, that's not all I'm going to do. Um, there's a good mix of people in here that are super users and a lot of people that hasn't seen it before. Um, so it's pretty much just show it fast. It takes a couple minutes, then you're all experts because it's so simple. The sign-in process is pretty much the same as almost the login. Sorry? No, it's a web app. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Why does it do that? They always say, oh, never use other people's computers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it was. <coughs> yeah. This is what people see the first time they log in, regardless if they're uh, coordinators, pilots, whatever. Um, until you're at, attached to a location, you're just a user. Um, I just need to change this. That pretty much makes it a lot easier. There it is. So easy to change your language. Um, on the start page, you have your rights, the opportunity to take a right, and you have all the locations you're attached to. It is so simple. Um, if you go look at uh, the location that you're attached to, you can be attached to as many as you want. Um, there's some statistics. Uh, there's opportunity to register the location as a pilot. Um, and if you're a manager of location, you can just manage the location and you get access to the behind the scenes. You can see all the people that connected to the location in the very different roles. The managers, coordinators, captains, and the three are the pilots, the approved pilots waiting to be approved, and the ones that haven't been trained yet. And if you're a, a captain, it's very easy to mark a new pilot as trained. Just click on it and press approve, and then he's approved. She. And the same for, for approving the pilot afterwards. The, manager, the coordinator goes in, presses the uh, pilot, and just picks approved. To find your location, just use your map. And it's, if you allow it to it, it will start up showing the area that you're in. So if you're in Australia and looking from Australia, you'll see Australia or Canada, or wherever you are, or Sweden, for some obvious reason. <laughs> Good place. Oh, thank you. <laughs> sorry, Chris, I just want to clarify that view. Yeah. Is that for both? Oh, sorry. sorry. Is that view on the map there, is that for your partners and passengers, or is that also for the pilots? It's for everyone. For everybody. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. You actually don't even have to be logged on to see this view. Um, and you can of course just scroll in, take a random location and just visit it, and there you are. It's very easy to get, uh, get to see the location that's in your neighborhood, and you can, as I said earlier, 
you can enroll on as many locations as, as you want. Um, see if you actually allow it to see where you are, you start a much closer view. Locations have calendars. I'm only attached to one uh, location because I'm lazy. Um, and you can see uh, rides. And if you have multiple bikes, you can, of course, have multi multiple bookings simultaneously. Um, and you can also just filter them over here, which makes it easier for you to get an overview. Um, there's different views of the, of the calendar. Some people like to have used this one, especially uh, for the uh, location itself. It gives a good, good view of what's going on in the next week. <clears throat> yeah. The legend down here shows the, the status of the, the bike ride. It depends. Um, when you book a ride, you can book a ride as a pilot. And then there's the coordinator of the location that approves the ride. There's also the coordinator that adds uh, a passenger. If it's the coordinator, then the, the, the ride is being offered to all the pilots that is connected to the location by email. And the first one to grab it gets it. And that approves uh, the ride. There's also the trick uh, bookings that allow just Down here, you see there's a turtle right. So if you're a coordinator, you can uh, uh, create a right, check mark the internal right, and then the right is attached, assigned to you. It doesn't be, it's not offered to, to any pilots at all, and it's automatically approved. So, so if you're a staff member, you just want to take uh, your passengers out, just create the right and roll off. Yep. So one of the things that we have made uh, available for the pilots that want to do to control their own rights is that we make them a coordinator so they can do this and then they can put they can book a ride they might be um, re a relative to the one that they want to take for a ride so then they can make their own ride and and pick up the the, the bike at inconvenient look uh, times like Saturday evenings or if they want to go to the pub almost <laughs> but it, it, it's, it, it's a practical way of, of giving a, pi a, a trusted pilot yeah. uh, the right to book his own if, if he is he she he she he she uh, is in she. <laughs> she it uh, if uh, the person is in contact with the, with the nursery home Yeah. Our, uh, our ride starts with the demand from a nursery home. There could be a rickshaw, there could be no rickshaw. Mm -hmm. And um, then the coordinator, the planner, uh, looks if there is a rickshaw available. And then afterwards he's looking for pilots. Is that possible here? Uh, you can't add a pilot to, to a, a ride as a coordinator. It's being offered out and everybody who wants it takes it. So it's not so much as a planning tool, it's a booking tool. Mm -hmm. So you, you make the offer either as a pilot or a coordinator say, I want to, take the, I want to offer this ride, who wants it? And first come, first take. First come, first serves or bikes. Okay, so I'm doing a lot of training in this. <laughs> so another thing, and you probably have to scroll up uh, to show the bikes available. Yeah. Yeah. But there's the bikes I, until I. Oh, you don't have any bike there. Just try. Okay, so that bike is is the bikes. Are, okay, so now you have them. Now these bikes could be shared between locations. So, but you. You cannot do that. You have to turn to support to get them shared because that's mm -hmm. something that is not 
There is no quick way of doing it, but uh, Christian can make it for you. And we, we use that a lot uh, in Sweden. So we have bikes that are shared over 10 locations. And if somebody books them, a book like uh, Grandpa Farfar, Farfar <laughs> if, if somebody books that, it will become unavailable for the next locations. Okay. Yeah. That's very practical. Yeah. The important part is to understand that the calendar is attached to the bike, not the location. So if it's being booked by whoever, it's not available in that period, regardless of how many locations it's, it's attached to. <clears throat> There's also a, a cheat to suggestion for you. If you have a location that is pretty much self-running, we can change the, the backing process so the pilots actually get to create the, the rights and they don't need a, a, a confirmation or approval by a, a coordinator. But we can't, we can't differentiate, so it can't be some pilots has to be approved and others have, don't need to. It's either or. But when a bike is shared by different locations, yeah. the biker has to know where he has to pick up yeah. the bike. That's but if you're attached to, to a location as a pilot, you know the location. You, you've, you're being trained as, as a, by a captain on the location. You have a, a communication with the location. So every, the, the practical stuff, you're being told. And you can... Okay, so, the, so, so to maybe a little bit of an explanation there. <coughs> it's shared in the system between different locations, but normally they have agreed, these locations have agreed that mm. they have the bikes somewhere in a central place or by week they have them located at uh, location one, two, three, four, and, and so on. So that's, that's another process that we are not normally involved in, but we know, uh, I mean, the pilots will know. Yeah. It's a pragmatic uh, approach, so, so the locations that share the bike, they make an agreement, how do you want to do this? And they just organize and coordinate it with the pilots. So it's a, you know where it is. But of course, if you, if you want to make sure you can uh, add text to the bike or add text to the, uh, to the locations and just say, the bike is placed here. Hey, Christian, and sort of a follow-up on that, we, we're constantly transporting. So the trichas are not at any one typically not at a facility at all. They're in some independent storage location. So we have a separate role in addition to the pilot. We have a transport role. Yeah. So could that be built into the tool? Because yeah, that, that transport person has to go pick it up. So it's a from and a to that's being signed up for in addition to a pilot. I mean, there's no point in building that at the moment as we are about to go to a new system where that role is actually doable. But if you want to, you can just book the ride as a pilot and just define this one as being in the transport. So the new system, oh, thank you. Is this going to be in the new system or is there a totally new booking system? Totally new booking system. Ah. But okay. we are migrating as, as much as we can from this to the new one. To the new one? So everybody using this would have a, a huge advantage in, in starting okay. in the new one when it comes to that. I already volunteered. We're going to be a beta for the new system. So we'll... Never mind. <laughs> no more questions. <laughs> Any other questions? There? When is the new system going to be available? We are starting to, to uh, start the project up this September, uh, starting with mostly Denmark. Uh, I think around New Year, we should have... Next year, and you will get back to us on what will actually cost us. Oh, yeah. We are very good at that. And of course, we as beta testers get a discount, don't we? <laughs> you get all the work. So before the pilots get approved, is there other 
qualifications you can put in there, like, for example, in Australia we have to have police clearance checks or working with children's checks. So we have a system that they can't even look at shifts until they provided that and we've cited it. Is there provision in this system that they can only get to a certain stage until they provided that information? Well, since, since the, the pilot, just go back to the location, you actually better look at it. No. So, uh, if you go back to yes, yes, yes. Okay. So when when somebody um, enters a cycling without age Sweden, and they show interest as a pilot, they are redirected to this to register, and when they register, they give away their life. <laughs> GDPR. They have to register and everything. And in that registration process, there is also, you check a box, policies, where it says that cycling without age can at any time take, you, take your authority to be a pilot away. So this, and then you come into this as for training. And that's, that, then the captain gets a message, okay? The message says there is a pilot that is well, a volunteer that wants to be a pilot. So then, in your captain procedures, you put this in. Yeah. So we have a handbook. We have handbooks for for personnel, for for relatives, for uh, pilots, for captains. And you put that in there. This is what you do as a as a captain. Yeah. So there is two checkpoints for training for approval. Okay. So you can easily build that in. Yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> um, training is system-based. So once you're trained, you're trained covering the whole world. Approval is location-based. So each location has to approve you. And until you're approved, you, can act, you can't actually see anything in the system. So you can take Yeah. Bonus points. Exactly. Yeah, we have to make those. Yeah, we need we, we need to get those patches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have about approximately one minute left. Chapter. Oh yeah. Like ten volunteers. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The best part is everything is get, getting registered, so you can just use it. It adds some, some control to, to a hectic day. You get the overview, uh, you get to collect all your pilots and, and, and volunteers at the same place. Um, I just try. So as, as a manager, um, you get the overview of all your users like this and all the different roles they have. Um, you can have all the roles and on location that you want. You can be attached to as many locations as you want. Just because you're a manager at one location doesn't mean you're automatically a manager on the next location. You can be a manager, you can be a pilot, you can be a pilot and a captain, um, you'll be coordinator, coordinator, and whatever you feel like. Uh, just because you're approved pilot on one location doesn't automatically approve you on the next location. It's up to that location to define if, you, if they want you to, to be able to, to book rights through them. It could be they need to have you to sign a waiver before they approve you, or they need to do a check in, in the system before they approve you. It's all in there. And until you approve the location, you can't really see anything. Yeah. I think it's timing. Last ones? No? Yeah. Thank you.